Right then, welcome back. This week we're at Farlows. As you can see, this is a bit back to front of this video. I'm doing the beginning at the end because I forgot to do it earlier in the session. So what I'm saying is, uh, I'm here at Farlows this week. It's pretty much been a good good session. You'll see through the video. I started off short range fishing for the bream because I thought I found the gravel spot which, which wasn't. Uh, so it got from medium range to long range fishing for bream. Uh, yeah, it's been a good session. I've enjoyed it. The weather's been nice, chilly in the mornings, not icy cold or anything, very misty, but otherwise it's been spot on. I've had a good few bream. I would say the, the last the ones are on camera, they're nearly seven pound. The ones I had last, or one or two were probably about, they were seven. Most I've had have been seven, but there's been the odd smaller one or two which I didn't record. So, yeah, it's far lows this week. 48 hours, here we are mate, and yeah, it was a good session to be fair, so hope you enjoyed the video, chuck a like on it, and uh, see you all soon. Bit section, so, bring fishing, bit of roach fishing, bait wise, I've brought a lot of hemp, Brought a few bags of these and a couple of jars. Three pints of red maggot. Half kilo of worm. Just got a pint of casters. Got a lot of pellet, sticky pellet. As you all seen last time I was here. That's a bit of hot water on them. Scald them for a second, drain the water off, put some molasses on the top of them. They go right sticky. They won't stick to a method feeder, but they are very very attractive so pretty much it really there's not a great deal about the bait job I'm gonna what's the word get my ground bait all riddled off get it all nice and then I'll add stuff to it i.e. the hemp corn maybe uh, a few pellet and I've got some I might put some chopped worm and casters in as well I might see about that or I might just start using cage feeders later on using that as a mix well, that's pretty much all I'm doing. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to town or, or anything serious. But, you know, yes, I stand my scissors down. I don't know where I put them. That's a mystery. Absolutely mystery that is. Well, what are you? Yeah, so that's pretty much it then. Really, in the way of it. Uh, I'll probably ball them up with Nash Ball Maker, put a few out on the spot I'm fishing and just keep firing two leads over him with a few maggots on it, on a hook, and a fake maggot, helicopter rig, I think I might just do it for a bit of bream today. It's going to be nice weather this weekend, I've got to admit though it is very busy down at Farlows, it is very busy. Oh, a little smell of imp. Yeah. In fact, I'm not even going to bother with really my ground bait, to be honest. I'm just going to get it all mixed up. I've got plenty of it. I've got about four kilo of ground bait, if I'm honest. So there's plenty of ground bait to go around. What have you? So every time I need a bit, I'll just keep mixing up, I think. I'm not going to make a great deal. The last time I was here, if you remember, when I was roach fishing, I was down on peg 40, I think it was. I had a lot of ground bait in bags. Now I brought it in tubs, in buckets, because the little gets, the rats get onto your barrow and they can get into your barrow and they just chew things to pieces. They're an absolute pain in the arse. So I've learnt my lesson there when it comes to uh, where to store your ground bait. So I've put mine in buckets now so they can't get it. So <laughs> that's probably safest. The safest way I think when you come to follows. So it's a nice day though, it's not it's not windy at least. And what have you? Like I said, I'm not gonna go two two crackers with a bloody with a bait. It's still it's still quite cold isn't it really. It's... So yeah that's pretty much it then. I'll keep you updated through the day. And like I say I'm here for a bit. Uh probably go up there for a social later on with my mate Dave. And have a, a cup of tea and what have
Well, oh, boys and girls, it's getting on. It's about coming up half hour, I think it is. Here's the first one. Well, it was a bigger fish. So about seven pounds, if I'm honest. It's a real fatty. So, I've got my account started. 2019, off and running. So, it's not a bad little fish, to be fair. Let's get her back. Let's hope for a few more. We're at the day two. It is, what time is it now? I think the time is five past one. I don't know about that fish last night. It's been a bit weird. I think I was fishing on a mussel bed. I don't think that helped last night. So this morning at six o'clock, I, I rechanged everything, got the marker back out. Uh, look through the old video that I did the last time I was here, which was 16 wraps. And then I found the area that I thought it would last time in the middle of the trees and then rebaited. I put two maggot feeders on, I've took one of the caps off, so one's a ground bait feeder and both helicopter rigs and maggot feeder. I'm using a sandwich style of chop worm and casters, a bit of ground bait to plug each end and I'm using a worm hook bait and so far nothing. Uh, I must admit, it took me a couple of hours this morning messing about trying to get where I wanted to be and I'm fishing more on it. It's a firm area but it's soft. It would make it. It's not gravelly, it's like a hard silt. So I'm hoping. Last night when I caught the fish, it was pretty much the same, same line but further across. So I had a good line, so I had a good lead around. See what I could find. I thought, well, that's what I caught the fish last time I was here. I'll go back on that same spot. But it's, pr it's probably more of a night water for the bream, if I'm truly honest. Every time I've come here, I've always been, especially the winter time, it's always been the night time. But I think there was a guy, he had a couple of carp this morning, next door, but one to me. I think one was like 30 pounder, I think it was, I think my mate was saying. And, uh, yeah, it's been quite quiet otherwise. So it's Saturday morning. See, a lot of people have gone and all the more people have turned up. So, oh, got a bit of a beep. We'll have to see, what, see how it goes from here on, I think. But I've changed the baiting strategy. Yesterday I put some big balls of ground bait out in the morning when I got here. But like I say, it must have been on a muscle bed or something. It, worked, it was certainly what on gravel. If it was on gravel, I would have had fish, I would have thought of you. I mean, they are, there's a big shoal of bream in here, you, you, you do catch them. But, after that, I was just very unlucky. But I've gone further out. But this time, I've put a lot of hemp, pellet, corn out. In one big area, probably the size of a snooker table. There's 16 wraps in front of a big bush, a little island. And we had a bit of luck, I could club it from later on today, later tonight. So, yeah, otherwise it's been, it's been a bit dreary really. In all honesty, I mean, ducks haven't even bothered me. The geese haven't been over. they nothing. But, uh, anyways, it's time for a brew. I've had a few visits this morning. Good thing about this place is that you know there's always beer lists walking around. They've been walking around the past couple of days. And uh, yesterday, last night, they checked my uh, ticket to make sure you got a ticket. And this morning, which I think is pretty good. I mean, one of the beer lists were quite stunned when I said I'm here for the bream. I'm like, whoa, bloody hell, really? And then I've had my like, rod license checked, which everyone should have a rod license, there's no excuse. You are good people, they're only doing the job. What have you? So yeah, it's, it's been quite fun, really. It's been quite good fun. That breeze is picking up now, thank God. I think I'm about. I don't know. I'm not plumbed here. I'm about eight feet of water. I'm not so sure. I don't know when you. 
come another two and a half ounce lead on it, we're going down pretty quick. I reckon we're about between six to eight feet of water. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a struggle when you got two feeders on casting long range. It's, uh, and the wind blows them, I and you can you don't get it where you want it first time. It might take two or three casts, which is a pain in the arse. It's one of them, if you don't hit it hard enough, you don't hit the clip. And what have you? So, there's a lot of people walking around. So it's, yeah, it's trial and error when you're long range fishing. <laughs> the, fun, the fun that I have with it is... Uh, it can be frustrating at times. You think you've just cracked it and it's like, oh, oh it doesn't hit the clip. You think you're... You know, a couple of rod lengths off from the spot, or a rod length from the spot, so you're going to bring it back in, rebate it up, you know, fill your feeders back out again. Oh, the wind blows you too far to the left or too far to the right. It's, oh, mate, I tell you. It is a pain, but when you've got a lead on, you're not too bad, it cuts through the air a lot better. A little shorter mill. Pretty, pretty much it for the time being. I will uh, keep you updated through the day. I'll show you a bit later on what I'm doing and what I've done. You know. Well, that bring last night though, it was uh, it felt a good. I mean, it took quite a bit of line off me. It, it really took the bent rod, bent, probably bent over and. I thought it was a bigger fish than what it was, but I estimate between five and seven pounds. It were a big fat little thing. So I'm hoping for the same tonight, Doctor. Give a bit of luck. I think next week or the week after, I think the tent fishing is going to have to start because I'm hearing in different places around the country and even back home there's tension coming out of certain lakes I mean the weather today has been really warm and yesterday were warm so and once they're awake they're awake aren't they like they're always awake before the car aren't they? in the springtime so I think I honestly think it's tension fishing time very shortly I mean it's what the first of March Next week, in it, sometime Thursday, Thursday, Friday, something like that. I'm not so sure. So that's when I usually start my tent fishing. So, hmm. we've got another 24, less than 24 hours, 20 hours to do. What even that? 18 hours, I think. for a few more fish I reckon there will be I hope so so right then I'm in brew watch the water see you all later
and I've just got all my last heavy ground, but it's pod mix out. So I'm about to cast these rods back in and it seems a bit dead really but I'm hoping tonight fingers crossed I'm hoping for a few tonight we'll see how we get on so pretty I think it'll be pretty easy to be fair I think we'll have a I think I'm all well, I think we will have a couple and what have you so I'll just quickly show you the rigs what I'm doing that's pretty much the rig helicopter rig as always with a fake maggot open ended feeder yeah, I can go back up there that's pretty much how I'll be fishing it just a maggot for a bit of colour and and what have you uh, Tuller one's the same but it's got two caps on and it's got fake maggot and I'm using maggots in that one what I'm putting in this is this stuff it's out there the old gungy stuff you know, chop worm, caster a bit of uh, worm extract so it stays nice and wet and I'm pretty much just using that really and ground bait she was having to plug the ends up and that's it not much to it but I've put all the uh, the core and the pellet and the hemp out chucked a handful of maggots in there with them for a bit more spice so and then it's just a case of pack some stuff down ready for tomorrow if I get picked up and then you never know, next week, tent fishing with a bit of luck, probably go to Wireside, I'm thinking, three days a week. So, yeah, it should be. Alright, I mean, I'm hearing tension coming out, so why not give it a bash? But, I'll tell you what I have got though, if anybody wants a tip, and I don't know if, how many of you guys actually use this stuff, if any of you do these two products now you when you see me casting backwards and forwards I always tend to have them all clipped up all the time I've got them marked now there's that one the marker elastic and I got this one from Gardner like a liquid and what you do is you just paint it on on your line to be honest <laughs> these they're, they're good when they work now the issue I've got with this is that it does slide up and down your line so every tier six or seven casts I always put it around the markers around the sticks make sure it's not moving if it's moved slide it back and with this one I tend to find you put it on your line, let it dry, but when you're really onto your line, because the line's tight when it goes on, if you're casting a long way and you've got a heavy weight or a heavy, heavy lead or a heavy feeder, what it tends to do, it tends to stick to all the other line, so when you cast, it all comes off, it's all up your line, in different spots of your line. I don't know how many of you actually use it, if anyone's got any uh, tips or any bad, bad experiences, leave a comment. I mean, it's a bit... <sighs> I just, every time I cast, I mark it around the sticks, back out. I know it's a ball here, well that's what I tend to do. It's a good idea, this has been used for years on it, and that's a good idea, but I just think wrapping them up, every time you cast is a lot easier. It's because earlier on when I went to cast, this is what I'm telling you, it's earlier on when I went to recast, I just thought, oh, I'll give it a quick, see how much, it had gone by nearly what, nearly a rod length, no, no, nearly a distant stick. So if I'm fishing up to 16, it was actually at fit, it was actually at the end of the ring when I got to the number 14, uh, number 15 wrap. So it's just a bit of a ball here, you've got to keep an eye on it. But that's a top tip. If anybody does use this and they've got any problems with it, that's what I do. It's just a bit of a 
pain in the ass. I thought I'd share that, you know. Come nice. Anyway, back to the fishing. So I'm pretty much going to send these back out now. Pretty much, and get rid, get them back out on the spot. It's about, it's about this time last night when it started to. Uh, I got that bite. Yeah, it's coming up five o'clock. So five o'clock coming up. Let's get it back out. Let's see if we can catch a fish. In fact, I'm gonna put a new worm on there. I think. Am I? Well, let's cut the end off. Yeah, I'll put a new worm on. That's what I'm gonna do with that one before I cast it back out. So right, I'll update you update you all later on. I'll put that back on later. Right, speak to you soon. Well, they're getting bigger. I would say this is about seven. This is my second end of the trip. So let's keep them coming. It's just going dark. It's about six o'clock, coming up six o'clock, I think, like last night. So let's get a few more with it a look. Right then, that's pretty much it. End of this session. Uh, done my best. Had a good do last night. Had a six or seven brewing last night between. Half five and half seven, that magical couple of hours as it were going dark and just gone into dark. Quite enjoying myself really, but I think the problem is yeah, there's that many bream. If you don't keep the bait going in, they'd muller you and they move on. And I think that's what happened to me last night really. I could have kept it going, but I ran out of spawn mix. So I couldn't put anything more out and I was fishing very accurately. So, and that's pretty much the one. So, Right then, yeah, that's pretty much me done. Just gonna have a quick brew, get picked up, and then on our way home, I'm gonna try and get back out to, down the river or something. I will be back out this week, I've got another two days off, but one day I'm busy. But I'll try and get out. So, so next, next month, well, next, next, not next week, the week after, we tench fishing will start then again so there'll be videos every week with a bit of luck and i'll speak to you all soon thanks for watching it's a nice morning today but it's a bit chillier so anyways thanks for watching see you all soon